Dodgy, dodgy sports fans, I presume it's recording now. So, this is a, a video to show you if uh, basically it's sort of instant house. If for some reason or other you find yourself in a situation where you need to create a living space for you know one person, so this is my living room, basically, stroke bedroom for now, only for a few weeks, like till my dad sorts the house out. So, got my computer there, got a seat here. Got a, a big telly there, it's on its end at the moment, no, it's easier to do like a long, long writing on it like that. Got me a kit bag and what have you down there, basically a, a light. That's, this is over here represents, basically, when we go outside in a minute and you see what the structure looks like, you'll understand a bit better. This is an extractor, it's basically, so you can have a sneaky smoke without getting in trouble. Or anyone being able to smell it. Just turn the light on there. So that is where uh, where I was sitting, so it's just a, an office chair on the ground. The enclosure that I'm in is basically made of, on the ceiling, is wood flooring, you know, loft flooring, about 1.2 metres, and these are like foam boards. Now, I initially made it by just stacking them all together, but obviously it was a bit dangerous. So that's like my little computer desk thing, basically. A clock, <laughs> and it is currently five past five or so in the morning. That's my hat hanger there, that pencil stuck in the wall. This is my uh, my lamp here, which is basically just a light bulb stuck through with a cake box in the way, just to stop it from glaring in your face. Like this is my oh check this out. This is my can of Aldi mild chicken curry. It's some good shit that you can't really see it, can you? It's me on the computer there for like more uni work. So that's my heat right. This is an interesting shit. Right? So the bedding just basically fits in it perfectly. But it's a bit like being in a fucking Soyuz capsule or something. So this is the eater over here. I'm just going to put my shoes on and go outside and show you what it looks like from the outside. Because so it's a box about 1.2 meters long. Don't know if you can see that. Sorry, 2.4 meters long, and um, 1.2 meters tall. So. That's the eater there, and obviously when air's blowing in there through this hole, which I made flap there, and it all oh, it proper draws smoke up the hole there. It's, uh, it's useful. I don't want smoke in here very often, though. I don't have a fucking doot of a pipe, don't I? So <laughs> they can fucking suck on it. I'm not going to be there for that long anyway. So right, I'm going to go outside now and show you it from the outside. So switch the light on for a second. Show you what happens when. We undo it. You can see that. Open the old airlock there. And lay it down. The airlock ends up laying there and that's the pipes to the outside. They are windows then, but don't like nosy bastards being out of seeing. So come over here. You, this is a grand transpiration now. It's a transformation. Switch the light on. Put some plants inside. Switch the fucking fairy lights on as well. All my batteries and shit charging over here. Right, so this is the second zone. This is basically, so for £120 a month, you can have a zone in an industrial space. This is this is a mill and it's full of like crazy artists and all sorts of people. There's all my paintings actually up there. Grand uh, to be able to see them all in one go like that. It's not all, all of them, though. There's fucking all sorts. I've got so many paintings on go here. So that's my microwave. These are my lights, my crazy lights. Looks fucking top at night. Seems to keep the birds up. There's my uh, CB antenna. Wasn't getting a very good signal out of that. It's a bit of shit. I'll have to try it again, a different spot. That's my, it's my plane, you know. I, I do keep it as a model in case, you know. Mad Max times and that, I'll be able to make a fucking big plane out of that. I'm not an apocalypse nut, I just like all that shit, I find it buzzing. This is the uh, Predator Junglist mashup. You better watch out for that shit. This is done on cardboard, I should have really done it on something a bit more substantial. It's me electric, but oh. You up for a ride around the aisles or what? <laughs> Now 
Now this is electric, but it's not got the battery on it. I might have to put the battery on it. Ah, fuck it, you don't need it. For now though, I'll just go... I'll just... I'll just pedal it. Right, check this out. You know, like this one, this is amazing. You turn the light on. That's the lift over there. Never mind that now. Ooh. <laughs> Some painters and stuff like that. This guy down here does all his like fucking woodwork and shit. This that leads to the old mill up there. I borrowed that lock up for a bit, but it was fucking well wet. Couldn't be arse with it. That's the exit. And we end up here again. My zone. That's the one with all mad graffiti on that there. Right. So, stick the old bike back over there. Shut the fucking door again, it's a bit brass out there. This is my very complicated lock system. It's a screw on the floor there, you basically jam that cunt in there like that, and you're laughing, aren't you? Buzzing. One good thing about this place, free, quote, quote, a lecky if you don't take the piss, but even if it starts to go over, I'll just pay it, I'm not bothered. Fucking hell, I mean, the, the rent here, 120 quid a month, the rent there, and the other house, 500 pound a month. Right, get to the feature presentation, it's this area here, so it's made out of three foam blocks, one of them on the floor, if you just, if I lift the tarp up, you can sort of, oh, knock my paintings on the floor. Oh, no. It's just basically constructed out of foam board with wood on it. You know, like wooden flooring out of a loft, piled up on it. Some solar panels on the end there, they're just a acting as walls, they're not like doing out. And I put a tarp on it just to basically airproof it all and I've tried to stick bags in any of the holes and it basically what it comes down to is that is a 2.4 meter by 1.2 meter room that now I've never ever tried to make a bedroom in my whole life I never thought I'd be able to but as a start or if you were on a building site you could easily use the materials at your building site to knock up a place to live while you build your house which is exactly what I'm doing here I'm waiting for my dad who's bought a little garage type of thing that we can convert into an house basically. So this is, if anything, it's a bit of a practice of that. So uh, anyone who's into all these mini houses and stuff, there's my terminal, I mean fucking Robocop, Ed 209 and Dick Jones. Bad ass. What? If anyone wants to swing me a few thousand for it, you know. <laughs> you have to look me up, won't you? My silverstone painting there. It's not silverstone, it's like Tame Site of College, but as if it was the rat race, you know, all this bullshit. With a biddy waiting for the bus there. Yeah. Alright. There's my microwave. There's my dehumidifier. There's my. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's sorted, man. It's fucking... You know, when you're sitting in there, and there's only one thing. There's somebody who... Right, it's a lock-up, in it? So it's full of businesses. Some of the businesses chop wood. Some of them bang. Some of them fucking put tunes on and jump around, you know, like... Gym type of business. So that's the only thing is, you know, during the day, you might be a bit pestered by loud noises. This happens to be an artistic zone, so... In theory, they're not, they don't make that much noise, but... Um, the other day, photography dude next door with lever and tune to I, I can't complain though, it's a bit irritating, especially when you're painting really, but thing is I am I mostly operate in the middle of the night anyway and all them fuckers are in beds, won't they? So um <laughs> you, you basically if you're willing to alter your times and I'll be at uni most of the time during the day, you get the place to yourself. 
but that's what it comes down to, so. And fucking. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll just head back in into the zone and fasten the airlock up. I need to go and get some water. That's the only other thing, yeah, you've not got cleaning supplies, but I go to my dad's for all that sort of stuff. Aye. So, yeah, it's the extractor basically just stuck to the stuck through the door with that box on it to try and make it a bit more usable. Obviously, it's fucking not exactly well sealed, is it? And that extraction fan goes up to the window up there just to... So, it's, you know, I'm not suffocating myself sitting in a fucking little box, like... So, um, why don't I just stick the camera over here if I can, somewhere? You bastards. Yeah, I've been looking at all these little houses and that. Oops. On YouTube. And I, I fully buzz off the idea of it. I think it's got all this fucking attachment to like electricity and water and all this. Well, it's for the people of the 19th and 20th century, innit? I don't think it's necessary, it's necessary anymore since I've been seen a gas. I'm not a water eater that runs off a gas bottle. I just thought. Why didn't we have them in the cameraman years ago? We'll be sorted, won't we? I don't mean, I mean when I'm on holiday, I'm not a jippo. I won't have any fucking opposition to being a jippo, I'll tell you. I might do it. <laughs> might become a fucking jippo, man. I'll tell you. I'm not arsed about them. They've got it right, haven't they? Aye. That's what you do, you shut the door up. Not vented, you got light, not computerised. The internet works a treat when the motherfuckers ain't restricting you. I tell you. Oh my. So this is uh, this is the great sign off. I hope you've enjoyed the little look around. This is what you can do though. If, uh, get your rent. Small time, and you get you don't get people whinging at you about carpets and shit like that. But it might be a little irritating in other aspects, especially if you've got people drilling and putting chains on and stuff. But. Not as bad as the other. I had another lock up, right? And it was wicked. It looked like a barn inside. It was fantastic, yeah? So I'm there and I'm, I made it into a right little living area. And I'm just there like that one day, fucking feet up like that. Ain't this brilliant? Mm. And then I hear this fucking loud tunes like doo, 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 doo. And just thinking, shit, I didn't fucking think about that. Because I've got it's a mu musical zone where bands jam and that. And it was a shame. The lads were top, though, couldn't think of it. They were funny bastards and we got to know them, but, you know, really, I just wanted it to be quiet, I've got to say. Anyway, I'm going to be out of here within a few weeks, really, it's just, uh, this is just a buzz, really, just to see how it could be done, and because I've been such a sucker for modern commodities, you know what I mean, that you're thinking, never... Do it, having things like a tyre change by a garage, you can do it yourself. I'll do another video about that. There's videos on YouTube. Look for a video where this guy changes four tyres in 20 minutes. So I'm saying. And it's just, this, is, this is basically like saying, build an house in 20 minutes, you know. Literally, it didn't take me more than about 20 minutes to get the initial structure going. Now, to seal it all in, extractor and set up, put carpet in it and everything, you know, it took a little bit, but... It didn't take long, because this, this is effectively like a 50 quid house. And I found, no, I got given these panels. It, it's just better, isn't it, than relying on spending all your time working and then having to pay some fucker to rent it. I mean, buying it. If you're buying it, that's off to you, fair enough. But even so, you spend a lot of time working. And you could sort of just buy or make a smaller house. It basically, it's like this. It's like this. I thought this, you know, compact cars. Why are they compact? Why do you have a smart car? Because you don't want a fucking estate car or a Land Rover, you know. It's pretty obvious, and this is like a compact house, but this is a super mini, you know. <laughs> so, anyway, that's off. So all the fat and very innovative and clever crazy nutters out there that do have tiny houses I really find it fantastic stuff so this is a Lopez Roger D sports fans in a bit